This is Tycho Brahe. He was one of the most brilliant astronomers in history. He revolutionized how we see the universe and he did it all with a fake nose made of brass and silver. Oh, and he had a pet moose that he would get drunk on beer. This story is completely unhinged. So how does a respected nobleman and scientist lose his nose? It all started with a duel at night with his own cousin. And what were they fighting over? Who was the better mathematician? Tycho was just 20 years old. And in the heat of the argument, swipe! The bridge of his nose was gone forever. But Tycho wasn't one to let a little disfigurement stop him. He crafted a custom prosthetic from brass and silver, which he'd glue on every morning. With his new nose and his enormous ego intact, he got funding from the King of Denmark to build the most advanced observatory in the world on his own private island. He called it Uraniborg, the castle of the heavens. It was part laboratory, part palace, and part all-night party. This is where the moose comes in. Tico's pet moose would follow him around like a puppy. But during one massive party, the moose drank too much, wandered upstairs, and tragically fell down a flight of stairs. Despite the chaos, the duels, and the drunken pets, Tycho's work was revolutionary. For over 20 years, he made the most accurate and comprehensive naked eye observations in history. His massive catalog of star data was so precise, it allowed his assistant Johannes Kepler to later figure out the laws of planetary motion. But Tycho's own ending was just as strange as his life. At a nobleman's banquet in Prague, etiquette forbade him from leaving the table before his host. He desperately needed to use the bathroom but refused to be rude. His bladder ruptured. He died 11 days later in agony. His last words? Let me not seem to have lived in vain. He didn't. The man with the golden nose, the drunken moose, and the fatally strong bladder built the bridge that led humanity from the ancient view of the cosmos to the modern one. And that's a story you won't forget.